guys, Zuljan here and welcome back to another episode of Bless Online Basics. Today we're looking at taming and what to expect in your first few steps into the taming adventure when Bless releases in the US. The system is pretty similar from what I gather, so without further ado, let's get started. When you're out and about in the world, kind of like I am here, there's going to be animals of different types. Uh, naturally, you have these red tagged animals that are aggressive, and if you go close enough, they will aggro. And you have the less aggressive animals, or the neutral creatures, that will only attack uh, if you um, if you attack them. So. These are wire-haired rabbits. If I go close and let it target the system target it, you'll see a few things here. Uh, you're going to see a little bit of a an icon right here that signifies that they're a pet. Uh, they're available to tame as a pet. Uh, there's another icon for mount. I'll show you that. Here is the creature's level, and this is the creature's type, and of course, how far they are away. So. Taming is a little bit level locked. Uh, oh, look how cute. <laughs> Taming is a little bit level locked. You have a couple different types of scrolls, actually a few different types of scrolls, basic, intermediate, and advanced taming scrolls. And right now I have a couple to show you. I have the basic taming scrolls, and I also have the intermediate taming scrolls. Now, these are both craftable. Uh, they uh, rely on you breaking down certain items that you find uh, as well as crafting or gathering different ingredients. You can even buy some of these from in-town vendors and they allow you to craft the taming scrolls. Or you could just buy them off the auction house, which that will be available as well. So to start taming, all you have to do is target a creature and use one of these scrolls. And in this case, this is a f level 15 or below or below level 15 actually, so it can take a basic scroll. Um, the intermediate scrolls are for 15 through, I forget the level cap, but I think it's around 25. Uh, so uh, pardon me if that information is wrong. It might actually say in here. Uh, let's see, it looks like, yep, yeah, to level 35. Okay, so I was a little bit off. Anyway, let's get started with the wired haired rabbit. So all you do is go up to it and press the, the, the tame scroll. You get this menu that comes up, and you'll see this little mini game that pops up. You have to hit the space bar every time you have that meter that goes on to that green spot. I'll demonstrate it one more time when we check mounts. Now, granted, creatures are going to try to attack you while you're doing this, so you can't just go up to like a level 50 creature and expect to tame it because it might just blast you out of existence. <laughs> anyway, let's get this stray dog tamed. It's going to aggro on me. Maybe. There we go. And let's press F3 and do the mid little minnow game again. There we go. And the tame was successful. Now that was a mount. I didn't show you the icons, but if I go close enough to this thing and target it, you'll see that this icon right here is a wheel. Okay, so the other icon was a butterfly, and there is one more icon that you can take a look at as well. Uh, if we uh, use the hotkey Y, it'll go into our pets menu, and you can see that wheel that we were just talking about is considered a ground mount. It'll show that if we go all the way down, we have the outlaw hunting dogs. It calls it a little bit differently because it's classified as what type of animal it is. I don't think it has to be specific to get into the upgrades and stuff. We'll talk about that in a minute. And you also have pets. And these pets here, this is the butterfly icon, as well as flying mounts, which we don't have any of those yet, but they will be available in the game. Um, each pet has a few different statistics that you can look at. One is its level, of course. They start off level one, just like this cottontail does, and there's a, an experience score and a fatigue score. Now, with this fatigue, if we go ahead and summon our little rabbit, you'll see that the fatigue went down just a little bit, and as long as they're out, the fatigue is going to lower. In exchange for that, though, we're going to get experience. And when this experience goes up all the way to 640, what will happen is it'll level up to level 2, resetting its fatigue as well. So all you have to do is have a pet out in order to really get some upgrades for them, well, some, some experience for them um, to look into upgrades. Now, when a pet reaches level 10, it'll have the ability to upgrade to a blue pet. 
Okay, so the the advantages of having blue pets and well further than blue, there's actually epic as well, um, is they'll have abilities that are attached to them. So pets don't attack like you would expect tamed animals to do in a game like Ark Survival Evolved or actually most games with taming. Uh, what you'll have is mounts, which naturally you can ride on them like these, um, and you have abilities that they can get. Now these come from a random pool from everything uh, from movement speed to jump height uh, in different levels and tiers and you can get pets that give you buffs like um, gold find buffs or rare item find buffs or actually the ability to auto loot um, crazy stuff like that anyway I don't know all the abilities and hopefully I can link everything right now is in Japanese because I'm playing on the Japanese server um, so when we get a little bit closer to uh, the release will probably have a little bit more uh, that can be answered. There is a very detailed video from a gentleman named Karth that I've been watching a little bit on Twitch. He's been playing Bless Online JP for quite a little while, so I'll link his video uh, that's much more in-depth about taming. But if you're interested to, to know more. So uh, we were given some horses and some scrolls early on, and that's why I have this beginner horse as well as this upgrade horse. Now, if we were to take this horse, for instance, and want to upgrade him, we can go to grade up. Now, it says offering must be equal grade as subject sacrifice must match its type. Okay, so you have to be able to offer a mount. Well, you have to be able to offer something that you can you can sacrifice. Now, you're going to lose this pet regardless if you succeed or whether you fail. There's the pet cottontail. It's level two now. So if we go into looking at this, it's possible... Um, they have success rates for the ability to get these uh, these upgrades. Uh, the success rate is measured here. Successful upgrade will increase the grade and possibly possibly acquire a new skill. A skill upon failure, new, next attempt will have a higher chance to succeed. So, if you give the same kind of pet uh, to them. Uh, like this, for instance, let's go ahead and not sacrifice this and let's bring in something like this. You'll see. Oh, I can't do it for that one. Uh, let's see if I could do it for this one. Actually, great up. We'll put this horse in here. Uh, rating and classification terrestrial vehicle. Okay, so it doesn't do that too. I'll tell you what, let's go into pets and I'll show you what I mean. We'll go into this flying beetle. So the flying beetle is ready to go here. If we go to grade up. I can put another creature in here, like this little hamster, for instance. You'll see that the the potential success rate is 5%. We can take that away. But if I put another beetle in here... You'll see that it's 15%. So it's a lot easier to get these beetles up. And that's why I tamed a few of them. So I can try to mess around with grading one up for this specific video. So let's go ahead and try to do that right now. And it looks like we failed, okay? So if we take an extra uh, beetle, also there's five remaining potential upgrades, six remaining potential upgrades for this to try it out. And, uh, well, six remaining upgrades to try out. And that's how many times you could sacrifice creatures to it uh, before this bottoms out. And this resets that total. So let's try it again. Uh, if we put another beetle in here, and it was 15% last time, we get a 3% bonus to this. Uh, likely that this isn't going to happen anyway, so we're going to try a few smaller creatures. Like I got this cottontail that I summoned here. Let's go ahead and unsummon him. Let's bring my beetle back up, grade up, and we're going to try to put in a few more of these creatures. Let's put in the cottontail. Uh, looks like an 8%. Probably not going to happen. We see that the, the upgrades are going down. Let's go to grade up again. And we're going to try to get this little green slime. Actually, I'm going to show you the green slime. Uh, we'll do the tail beetle. Actually, I don't want to do that one either. Let's do the hell dog. <laughs> and we'll try to grade up from there. And that one's failed. Okay. Now I think it's time to try the other beetle. Hopefully we get this guy done. Uh, grade up. All right, now we have a 20%. One in five, baby. There we go. Flying Beetle has successfully upgraded to Rare Grade. I was really hoping that would work. And it acquired a skill, War, PvP Experience. Experience of acquiring 
a 42.1% increase in battles between players. So this would be a great pet to PvP with because if you kill players, you would get more XP for that. So you can see that its remaining upgrades now are three and its remaining potential are one. You can upgrade blues to a higher tier as well, like oranges and purples as well. And those can add more and more abilities to the pets to make it very good. So it awards you for taming the same creatures and getting more experience. Uh, we're kind of locked to having 40 slots until you level up taming. So by taming new creatures, you get additional points um, into the like your, your tamer stat, supposedly. So once you tame more and more and upgrade more and more, what will happen is that 40 slot amount will um, increase. So next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and take you into town and show you how to make these taming scrolls so that you can either mass produce them to sell them or do some taming yourself. So in just about every town, if not every town, there's these crafting stations that you can find. They usually have a craftsman workshop available, uh, well, an NPC that's labeled uh, for craftsman workshop. There's also the ability to go and purchase crafting materials from merchants. We'll look at that in a moment. But what you want to do here is go up to one of the tables and hit produce. Now there's a couple of professions in the game, um, one being mining and blacksmithing and stuff. Well, that's gathering as well. And I have chose enchanting and cook. There'll be more about professions a little bit later on in this series probably. So uh, what we're looking at right now is enchanting. Now this is the only way to make taming scrolls. Uh, you can get them, like I said, from questing and going through. That's how I got my initial ones. And as you go, you can buy them from the auction house as well. But this is a way to craft them. So if you're going to do a lot of taming, crafting is definitely the less expensive way to go. If we take a look at, I believe it's called Travel Companion, you'll see that there's a few different types of taming scrolls available. Uh, we need a few different components to make these, one being a potion of bondage, another being sailor moonlight powder, and another one named paper. Uh, so you can buy this. It says obtained for material from attained from material production shops and grocery stores. Uh, you can also see that this is obtained from production shops and grocery stores. But this, however, is a little bit different. Acquisition method, method is decomposition. Adventure point merchants instruction. So you can use adventure points, which we earn from doing dungeons and questions, things like that, um, as well as buying them or uh, as, as well as uh, dismantling them in the shop. So there's a desynthesis machine in towns that you can access and you can go to disassemble equipment and all of that stuff that you picked up from the dungeons, uh, you can move that into this disassembly and try to get the items that you need. So for instance, let's go ahead and put these pants in and try to confirm. And we did in fact get some Sailor Moonlight Powder. You'll notice that it will highlight uh, when you actually get the right stuff. Uh, let's bring this in as well. And it looks like that time we got the Dragon Balls. Uh, these are more uh, essential ingredients of different things that you'll need for crafting and stuff. But now that we got a little bit of that, let's go on and try to grab some paper here. If we talk to Perrin, you'll see that she has some paper available. And it's for 34 per copper. Or 34 copper per paper. <laughs> Excuse me. All right, and I got a few pieces of those. That's cool. Now we should be able to head on and enchant to grab the scrolls. And then after this, I'll show you guys some of my pets. All right, so if we access this, uh, it looks like we have all the materials needed. We can just select these and intermediate, bam. So you can see advanced, you need more experience in this art, actually. So you need to do more enchanting. Uh, but right now we can make uh, in you, we can't we are apprentice so we can make the intermediate taming scrolls. I don't know why I can't talk today. Anyway, let's go ahead and craft it. We could do that a number of times if we do have more as well. We do so. Let's just go ahead and craft more. Oh wait, no, we need a little bit more. Okay, craft. There we go. We needed more uh, more of the. Uh, the potion of bondage. I didn't even see that. Okay, so that's how to make taming scrolls. Last but not least, I'm going to take a look at some of the pets that I've acquired so far. Uh, if I go ahead and press the Y key, 
you'll see that it brings up my pet menu like before. And there's a few different things. I tamed this slime a while ago because I thought it was nice. Kind of like an homage to Squishy. We'll go ahead and summon him. And they summon pretty instantly here. Um, like I said, it doesn't have any abilities while it's out, so I won't be getting any buffs. But you'll see that as I have him out, he'll be using fatigue all this time and getting a little bit of experience, as you just saw it tick. Um, if we go into Taillights Beetle, that's the one I was playing around with leveling for another sacrifice. It's a pretty cool, like, little bug. <laughs> uh, we can go into... The Little Feet Hamsters. This was one of the early quests. I thought these guys were adorable. They all have their own little animations that they do every once in a while too. Like digging or cleaning themselves or whatever. They're awesome looking. Uh, this black smoke was something that I found. This is more like a humanoid. This was in this plague area. Um, and they are absolutely menacing, man. You, there's a number of different things that you can tame uh, in this game to suit your style and play. Uh, if we go into the big brown eye, that was in the same area. <laughs> this guy smiles and stuff. It's really cool. They float around behind you. They make a little bit of noise when they idle. Uh, and of course you can gear, gear them up with abilities too. And the beetle that I just upgraded, which will which will give me the, uh, the extra XP when we're doing that. This is almost big enough to mount is what it looks like, but it isn't a mount. As far as my mounts are concerned, uh, we have a few. The Outlaw Hunting Dog that I just found. It takes a few seconds to grab a mount. And uh, when you get them out, that's one of the abilities that you can actually get to speed that up. But you'll see that you get right on the back of these things. You can jump with them, you can run around with them. Some of them have uh, different abilities like movement speed increases and stuff, as you can see on my horse here. Um, there we go. Naturally, he's blue, so he has the chance to get an ability. They won't always have abilities either, guys. You can fail or you could get abilities that you don't really like. So you'll have to do a lot of taming uh, to get these yourself. Um, there's also the ability to store animals in order to sell them. Uh, so you can buy um, what they call seals and you can seal an animal to put them on the auction house and stuff. So they will kind of be tradable. There won't be any direct trading in Bless Online as far as I know. Um, everything, and there's gonna be no cash shop as well. Everything is gonna be available through the auction house. So uh, this guy is pretty darn fast. They can also be used to follow paths and stuff like I've shown you before. If you set a path, for instance, like auto, uh, you can just get on this pet and it's gonna go. You don't have to use it naturally, uh, but you can. Let's see what else that I've tamed uh, really quick. Uh, if we go to... Sorry, that's not what I wanted to do. If we go to my fur wolf... Oh, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't summon him. This is one of my little wolves. A very, very cool little mount. You can tell that it's a tame because of the uh, the icons above their heads, naturally. Um, Iron Hooves Boar. That's my piglet. <laughs> he looks really, really cool. He looks like Pumbaa. Or, uh, is it Pumbaa or Timon? I think it's Pumbaa uh, that, I'm, that I'm trying to think of. As well as um, my hunting bear that I just got. And I'm taming all of these as I go to just try to get an idea of what the mounts look like as I go through. And to showcase them, of course. Very cool bear. If you press space to jump when you're not moving, sometimes they have a little animation or a sound that they make. Naturally, when you're moving, they jump. This guy's got some ups on him, man. <laughs> Very cool. And last but not least... One of the coolest ones that I've gotten so far, I keep pressing the wrong button. One of the coolest ones I've gotten so far is this Voodoo Maggot. And this thing looks absolutely insane, man. Look at this guy. He's like, he's like a centipede. And he jumps just like the rest one. You do have climbing pets as well that you can get uh, from what I've seen. Uh, so... 
I'm gonna go ahead and jump away into the sunset here. Guys, I hope y'all really enjoyed the taming video and y'all got a little bit of an idea what to expect. Make sure if you wanna find out more in depth details about taming and see some other cool pets, you can check out Kort's video. The link will be in the description below. Once again, guys, thanks so much for watching. This is Uljin signing off and we'll see you next time.